Hey guys, Rich here with Brotherhood Reviews, and we're back talking about One Piece. The spoilers 1067 are out, and I can't wait to jump into it. But before we get into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more spoiler reactions like this and more other videos as well on the channel. Over 200, and we're going to keep on going. But let's get into the spoilers. Okay. You know, by Eaton Body from Worst Gen, uh, 67, 1067 Punk Records. Ooh, cover Caesar and Judge are fighting. Why are they fighting? Whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, Vegapunk has, was born a genius, but he's also a user of the brain brain fruit. Oh, wow, which lets him have unlimited storage of knowledge. Oh, that's low-key fire. That's fire. That's probably why his head was so big. Um, title is referring to Usopp's sec sec section of egghead inside of egghead. Uh, it made made up Vegapunk's brain. Wait, what? Okay, so I'm guessing that upper section of his brain that we saw in the last episode of last episode, last chapter, was like his brain, like the top was where he kept like the knowledge or whatever, the memory bank. Um, the ancient robot was created back in the void century and 200 years ago it attacked the world government. Oh, CP0 arrived. Oh my god. And said that he here returned sight from Kuma but was denied access. At the end of the chapter, the real Kuma and Kamabraka gets up and starts to run to somewhere. Break next week. Oh my god. <sighs> now that I'm done mumbling over, mumbling over words, let's, let's, this chapter is going to be crazy. So, Vegapunk is a devil fruit, fruit user. He is naturally born a genius, but his devil fruit allows him to retain all the knowledge he gets, which is kind of amazing. Now, that ancient robot that Luffy found attacked the world government 200 years ago, which isn't that long ago. And the, that just means the world government is amazing at covering stuff up because how does nobody like talk about things like that? A giant robot attacking them. So, um, but in, and then it attacked them 200 years ago, but it was made over 400 years ago. So, that's that's an interesting fact that we gotta we gotta keep keep uh in the memory banks you know and in the brain brain fruit okay now the cp0 has arrived their site from kuma was denied access so that just confirms even even though you know he vegapunk said it to dragon that yeah i think they am gonna die but um that confirms that he knew that they were most likely on their way with a cipher. Um, and then the real Kuma that is in that obvious word I can't pronounce uh, starts getting up and running somewhere. So I guess it's time in certain plans that are probably were set in place for a specific moment are probably going down. And I want to see what's going to happen when the CP0 actually get into Egghead Island because, you know, they're obviously going to get in eventually. But, um, yeah, break next week. I can't wait for the chapter to come out. But that's all I have for you guys. So I hope you guys have a good daytime night whenever you guys are listening to this. Thank you.